you want to learn how to transform your own video into AI, you're in the right place. All the animations you see right now on your screen are made by AI. And I'm here to teach you. If you are a dancer, a music producer, a filmmaker that is searching for a new ideas, all you need is your goddamn phone and a Warp Fusion. It's made by a good man, Alex. And I want to say to him a big thank you. This thing is huge. Hold your breath. Let's go. Let's go. What? I will focus today only on the basics and I will show you how you can fast and easily get uh, great results. And then we'll dive into more details in other videos. I will show you how I transform a dancer into three CPO and then warp it into Darth Vader. All you have to do to get access to this awesome technology paper, you have to subscribe to Alex Patreon page. If you jump right now, you will get uh, mostly the latest updates of Warp Fusion. Right now I have, um, access to um, version 013 and remember that this guy is updating every month every time is getting better and better and he is also uh, dropping here the example of what you can do right now with that there is a discord channel there you can write directly to alex and have uh, tech support there if you have any problems installing uh, errors also you can share here your creations i want to mention that i created my own discord channel and right now I'm gathering their people uh, for a wait list because I am working on high promotion course. And if you want to learn how to make this and want a discount to be one of the first uh, jump into my Discord channel, also I'll be happy to see you there and see what you do and what you did after this tutorial. After you subscribe, you will be able to download the file uh, from his Patreon post. And here you will see the link to notebook. Here it is, and also uh, some additional useful information. We go to the Patreon post, that is post that you paid your money for, and uh, here will be two files. You can download one of them. After you downloaded the file, go to Google Collab, upload. If the page looks like that, go to file and upload notebook. Here it is, let's go to our file and just drag it here. In the same time, on your hard drive, there will appear a folder named Collab Notebooks. And if you go inside, you will see here your latest Collab Notebook. Here I have a, a lot of them. Create as many as you want for every other uh, project you are working on. There are two ways how I used Warp Fusion. The first one, using this online through Google Collab Notebook and renting their graphic cards and a subscription. Above the subscription, I told you on my last videos, $10 per month uh, just to test it all out and uh, to understand if you want to continue working, if you maybe got some commission work and got, I don't know, $50, $100 per video and you can just cover these spendings. Go to your Google Drive, create there an AI folder, go inside, create their init video folder. You can create any folder you like, it's just the way I did it. And then inside I created Warp Fusion folder. So I can drop here all my videos that I want to rework with the Warp Fusion. I had this just showcase. For tutorial, I prepared only a little piece of it. You just drag it into this folder. Also, we need a folder for our models. Going through the link, you will find custom models that people train. And for example, if you like one, you can go, you can go through. Here is a download uh, link. Here you can find the style you really like, search for the models you like, and you can see here what it does. Keep in mind that those files are quite big. So here are some models I downloaded. And if you run your Google Collab Notebook, it will automatically download some default models for you. But uh, I recommend you to go and find some cool stuff. Also, a great thing here that you can go to AI generated picture and see here prompts that that were used negative prompts and uh, it uh, it can help you a lot and save you a lot of time two folders remember models and in videos
Actually, you can place this anywhere you like. After you are here, you have to connect to your Google Drive. Click here on the files. Instantly, you will be connected to a Google Collab and click on this folder. It will drop you to the cell with the Google Drive. You run the cell. It will ask your permission, give all at once. If you don't see the drive here, go refresh. And here is your drive open. Then scroll down and find settings with the batch name. That is the name of output folder where your frames and video will be. And let's call it World of Dance Judge Showcase. Here is the resolution of your output video, Reels format or TikTok. Anyway, it will transform it into 704 because these have to be equal 64. But you can stretch it back uh, after that in post. But also if you're using some weaker video cards or want your render to go faster, you have to lower this resolution to 576. 1024, also a good resolution. We have our folder, we have our resolution of video. Now we have to give a path to our video. Drive, my drive, folder AI, init video. Here is Warp Fusion and here is Judge Superhero Showcase. Copy path, put it here. Next thing we need to say Warp Fusion, where is our model? So go here where your models are and three dots, copy path, boom. And as I am very lazy, I used the same model that I used on my previous tutorials and it worked perfectly well. The last thing we have to tweak is GUI. You told it where it is, what you want to transform it with and where to output your frames. The only thing you have to say, what you want your video to transform into. So the next cell we need is GUI. Here will appear a window after we ran all the previous cells. So we have to wait a bit. As we did all of this, we just go ran, ran all, started to process cell by cell, and you will see that some of these are already done. You can see that the system is downloading something. I have no idea what it's doing. It will take some time. You can go out, make a walk, sunshine outside, visit your friend, buy some snack. Yo, maybe there's something in the fridge. As you see here, it started to do some stuff with my video. We already have some results. Downwards, you can see what it's doing right now, on what frame and how long does it take for you to render all this stuff. Tesla T4 renders a one frame of HD quality, renders 36 seconds. And here, as we need 42 frames, it will render 26 minutes. If you have the animation for five seconds and you're using let's say 24 frames per second, it means that you have to render 120 frames. If you're using Tesla T4, the weakest video card in Google Collab, it's taking 2.05 compute units per hour and it costs you 20 cents per hour. So in other words, five seconds of your footage will be transforming into HD AI video for 72 minutes and cost you 24 cents. And as I said previously on my tutorial with uh, how to use Google Collab through your phone, the best way is to use the fastest video card, A100, because that will render much faster and cost you less. Now, if you go off to your Google Drive, you, were, you will see inside your folder AI, there will be a stable Warp Fusion. You go inside and find here images out. And here will be your batch named form folder that we created. World of Dance, Judge Showcase, and you go inside and find here frames that have been rendered. Some of you are asking what to do with these frames. You can put it inside any editing software, connect them into a video, or you can create video just inside your Warp Fusion. Here, downwards, you will see section create the video. So after all this render is done, or if you feel enough and you want to stop it, Go here, put the number of frames you want, for example, 24, and go render. It will take those frames it generated and create a video inside our Google Drive. So here it created folder video, you go inside and here is your video. So here are those few frames. 
it started rendering our frames and it works fine. So as we see, you, we can now stop it. And now we are working with our prompts. Your workflow will continue this way. If you go here to GUI, you will find here uh, additional windows. And here is, here is a section with the prompts. For default, you will see here a beautiful, highly detailed cyberpunk mechanical augmented, most beautiful woman. Here are the prompts, the negative prompts, the step schedule, style strength schedule. So everything is handy and in one place. Now we can continue working on our video. Here we put our ideas and uh, we tweak parameters, test it, then stop, go back, tweak parameters, go test it and go again. So I'll show you how I did it. Basically, as I told you, you can find here some prompts, you can test them out, but I was, I was, I am lazy, you know? You just can change a little bit of default settings. For example, what I changed here, I took a cyberpunk off and mechanical off. The only thing I changed, as you see, is a beautiful, highly detailed C3PO. It is a robot. I deleted everything here and just put here Star Wars Golden. I put style strength schedule to 0.8. Then I found on a footage a moment where I want our C3PO to transform into Darth Vader. And that is why I found this moment when the dancer is holding his head. And it is, as you see, frame number 504. After the bracket, you put comma and then go 504 two dots and copy this thing with the brackets. And I want now a highly detailed Darth Vader. And inside the brackets, I changed robot into Anakin Skywalker. Style strength schedule, I put here eight and that's it. You should run this cell again and see if it did changes. Yeah, everything is good. We go down do the run. So as you see, everything is good. You can try it yourself and show me on my Discord server. You can also resume animation here in Warp Fusion and here is the options for that. It will take the latest run or for example, you can specify frames from what to what frame you want to re-render stuff. And also if you have a, a a couple of versions rendered inside your Google Drive folder. You can put here, for example, a batch one or batch two or batch three. So uh, it would understand uh, what sequence you want to render. Also here in the folder settings will be saved all, all your settings that you used. If you like some style, you can anytime use the same uh, settings. And if you don't want to make the copies of a Google Collab inside your Google Drive, you can save your settings files. You can also load here your setting files. Or for example, I can share with you my parameters and you just take this file, put it here and boom. And the second way using Warp Fusion is running it on your local drive. You have to have a video card with a 16 gigabyte memory Plus, I also tried to make it work with my old video card. It got 11 gigabytes memory and it wasn't enough to export HD quality. I changed my video card to GTX 3090 with 24 gigabytes on board. Oh, this AI, that's gonna take all of my money. Damn! So I won't pay the subscriptions and all the stuff. It would be better to have your video card. You can play games if you want. And it's all the time inside your computer and it is yours. In this case, you will be paying is 10 or $25 uh, for this Warp Fusion updates. You will be totally into this Warp Fusion, believe me. But if you have a weaker video card as I did, you will be able to um, export files from Warp Fusion, but with a lower resolution. In this case, you won't put here 720 on 2080. It would be something like 576 to 1024. And after that, I use AI software to upscale my works. So I'll tell you about this later. You will be asking yourself also, can I run this document uh, on my video card, but when I'm not home, 
Yes, of course you can. There is also option to open Google Collab somewhere not at home in your granny's village or on vacations. Start running all the processes inside your computer at home. Now let's jump to our local installation guide for Windows. If you don't have a Discord, you can go to the link and find uh, the same installation guide uh, here. To run this locally, you have to download and install Git and Miniconda. But if you're a super lazy ass, you can go here and download here the install Git and Conda Bat. After you run it, it will install for you those two things. So I created a folder Warp Fusion where everything will be installed and all of the output frames will be there. And believe me, this folder will get huge. Look, 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 look. Warp Fusion. Less than a month playing with Warp Fusion. So uh, there have to be a plenty of space inside your uh, local drive. After you created Warp Fusion folder, now you have to download inside that folder two files. First, you download prepare env relative bat inside your Warp Fusion folder. You run it and it will download everything that is needed inside the Warp Fusion folder. In other words, we'll install Warp Fusion. And the second one will run Warp Fusion after everything is installed. It will take you some time to install everything and you download it here, your run relative dot bat. And now you can run your Warp Fusion. For that, run relative. So uh, the local host opened here. So uh, it did some stuff and now it is ready to roll. So now let's go back to our Warp Fusion notebook. We can connect our Google Collab notebook to our local system. Click here, manage sessions and end this session. And now in a drop down menu, you will find connect to a local runtime. Here it is asking a URL. You can find it here. Copy the whole thing and inside here, connect, boom, connected locally and usage rate of compute units, zero per hour. So now we can work forever and ever and never going out. If we click here on a folder, you will see all of the folders and files that are inside your Warp Fusion folder. Here is After Effects, I created it so you won't see in your space. So now everything is happening inside a Warp Fusion folder. Here is my init videos. Images out are here. So you can see I've been doing a lot of stuff right now. Also, you can divide your character from a background and more about this stuff in the next videos. And here is my models folder. Also, I downloaded. So now we have to say Warp Fusion where our files are. Here are in it videos. And if you go here, you will find there's a bunch of these. And judge superhero, three dots, copy path. And find here video input settings and paste it here. The only thing you have to delete the first icon or put here a dot. Width and weight and our batch name folder. I will leave it as is. Also, we need to tell the path to our model. Models are here. We take this model, three dots, copy path, insert here, and also put here dot. So now after you go run, run all, it will show you the error because it's asking our Google Drive, but we are not using one. I don't see here any check mark to skip uh, this cell. There are two options. You can click every cell one by one, one after another. But, you know, it will take some time. Another way how you can skip this just and without clicking all of the stuff, uh, you can go here and just delete this cell. Just like that. And then run, run all. It will skip it and like that. But remember that it will save and how to get this uh, back, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember about it. Just do a copy of it. After uh, all the cells are being run one after another, it goes uh, to the GUI and then you can stop it and tweak here to parameters. Everything is automatic and you just, all you pay for that is a good video card, $10 for a subscription for updates and some time. That is it. Giant creature and... Colossus, uh, here maybe Shadow 
of the Colossus. And let's say Moody. Go. Yeah, it said it. Okay, now let's go here and rerun. That is totally cool. That is working so good. Look at that. Uh, how do I upscale my video because it's HD and I want 4K, for example. I used to pass labs product uh, for, yeah, that is a little bit expensive, but I think that as I'm working with the videos all the time, it's worth paying. It can also make a 60 frame out of 30 frame of your footage. For example, you are selling a stock footage that is HD quality. You can upscale it to 4K and have a higher revenue for that, for selling those. Now a little bit about post-production. I use DaVinci Resolve or After Effects to improve my AI videos. So I drag it here on the line and underneath I put the video with the man dancing. If you want also to make a transition, you just put one over another and simply drag it here. And so it will transform from one video to another. Also, you can use some compositing mode. For example, if I take this footage with the, with the man dancing and use a composite mode to color, it will use the colors of your input video. And that is how I created this transition into a dart wider. From underneath, I duplicated a man uh, dancing. Uh, I put it here, uh, make a smooth transition of appearance and took a composite mode to color. So we take the real colors it, he was dancing on. It looked here as he was overheating and I thought that that is pretty nice. Uh, there are a different options what you can do afterwards with uh, those frames. And then I went to um, color grading a little bit. I put here a deflicker. The Flickr isn't available for free user of DaVinci Resolve Studio, but I have licensed DaVinci Resolve Studio because I have Blackmagic camera. I put here the Flickr and change it to Fluoro Light. It won't make my footage too foggy. After that, I just uh, tweaked a little bit of curves and also used my, one of my favorite LUTs uh, I often use with the Blackmagic, but it also gave some colors, the image looks a little bit popped up. And if you choose it, you can play with the opacity of that LUT. By the way, there, uh, there is also the version with the camera moves. I just was, I was experimenting. I thought that it gave some dynamics. Yeah, after I rendered it out of DaVinci Resolve Studio, I opened to pass video AI and dropped here our video. Now let's say I want to upscale it two times. Preview. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Or upscale it four times. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So after that export and you're ready to go. You're ready to drop your uh, cool animation into your TikTok, YouTube Reels, Instagram Reels, or inside my Discord channel. In the next video, I will teach you how to make this AI Hyperloop. I'm trying to create a community around my video passion, especially around Hypermotion that I made up and I'm working on a Hypermotion AI course. I am gathering their people, the wait list for my Hypermotion AI course. And to those first of you, I will give a great discount. And also I'm doing a website with all my hard work, music, and there will be the selection of good things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? What are you selling? Ah, I'll buy it in a high price. Stay tuned and come back anytime, stranger. What are you buying? What are you selling? And I what? And I say warp verb that, web that, sir. Warp, 